Okay, today we're making stuffed shells, stuffed jumbo shells. I never say jumbo, I just call them stuffed shells. We'll be cooking the shells, uh, cooking a combination of uh, beef and Italian sausage. I'm using mild Italian sausage. I'll probably add a few pepper flakes to it. And just putting some of the beef in now. I won't need all this beef. It's gonna be a combination. It's kind of a little bit similar to lasagna, other than there's no uh, ricotta cheese in them. It's just gonna be some Parmesan and some uh, like mozzarella mixture in, inside of I'm putting this Italian in there. And just gonna break all this up together. So it's fucking coming together. But uh fry this meat up good. Then we'll let the meat cool off a little bit, and then we'll stir in the cheese mixture with it, and then you just have to hand stuff them. They're a little bit labor intensive because you gotta hand stuff each shell. Uh in the past I used to put I like the combination of some uh, spinach in them too, which you can definitely do. But one of my sons that lives with me does not like spinach anymore. So I'll be leaving the spinach out today. It'd be meat and cheese, and we'll have a salad on the side. So I'll continue to brown this, and I'll be back to you. I'm boiling the water now as well. Hey, our, our meat is now finished. Uh, as you can see, I've just turned it off and let it it'll carry over. Not to mention this will be, be continue to cook in the oven after we stuff it in the shells. See, what we're going to do is let this cool, incorporate the cheese with it when it cools. And uh, then we cook the pasta, the shells. We cool them down. Then we stuff it all into the shells, put it into a casserole dish, and then top it with the uh, marinara sauce, or your favorite tomato sauce you want to use. Today, I'm not even making a homemade one. I'm just using a store-bought one. And cook it in the oven for a while, get it good and bubbly, and then serve it with whatever you like, garlic bread and a side salad. So I'll be back later. We're now getting ready to uh, start the assembly process. Uh, here's my meat. I've drained the fat off of it. Instead of plain mozzarella cheese, I have what's called Italian style blend, which is just basically mozzarella with some provolone, Romano, some Parmesan. So it's just kind of a mixture. I don't even have quite a full package of it. I wish I did, but I don't. I'll have to use a little more Parmesan. I've got some Grated Parmesan here. I got some more. So I'll put a big handful there. So as you see, I've already pre-seasoned the meat. Did that during the cooking process. It's uh, I just did it to taste with some garlic salt and uh, some pepper. Break this cheese apart. And we're just going to stuff this into the shells. You can, if you want to, I've done it before, use some mozzarella, or, or excuse me, some um, cottage cheese, you know, a ricotta cheese as well. But tonight I'm just going this way. So hold on while I'll show you the next process. Well, I did find in my refrigerator, I don't have any. Uh, ricotta, but I do have some small curd, uh, four percent milk fat cottage. So just to add a little bit of moisture, I probably won't even need all this meat mixture, but I'm gonna mix in a little bit more just to make it a little creamier, a little more cheese. So now I have the Parmesan and the uh, Italian blend mixed with some cottage cheese, or you can use ricotta. If you have it, I just don't have any right now. Sometimes we have it on hand, but I don't. 
But this would have worked even without this cottage cheese or the ricotta. But we'll just add a little more layer of cheese. We like things cheesy. So there we go. And now I'm going to start the uh, assembly process. I'm only going to show a few of these since these are labor intensive and it'd be way too long. So basically I'm going to take the spoon, open the shell. It's not hard. It just takes a while. And some falls out. It's okay if you overstuff it and some falls in the pan. You'll scoop it up and eat it anyway. If I have some of this meat left over, I may just be topping it on top of it. So, as you see there, and I'll just keep layering these across. Fill the whole pan, three or four layers of these deep, and then cover them with some sauce. So, I'll show you the final product later. Okay, I've assembled all the meat into the shells. This was a double batch. This was two pounds worth. I usually just do one pound worth. See, I have a lot of shells left over. So, uh, I'm going to put this out of the way for right now. And uh, I'm going to top this with a little more Parmesan here on the top. Just a handful sprinkled over it. Uh, and I'm just using, I'm making this easy with some uh, sauce that I'm having to use a towel so that I've <laughs> had have the meat on my hands. So uh, I'm just basically going to just drizzle this on. I might have to go with two cans of sauce. But uh, I think we'll just do some sauce on the side and add it to it, heat up, and drizzle it on when we finish, and cook it this way. So 375 to 400 for about 20 to 30 minutes so it's bubbly hot. 